You all know Jim Carrey, right? The Mask, Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, The Truman Show. Well, in this video, I want to share with you how knowing Jim changed my life forever. And folks, I'm telling you now, it's not what you think. So hang with me. It's a short one today, but this is powerful. And I believe that this could change your life forever too. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Welcome to Elevate, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben, and it's a privilege and an honor to spend this time with you each and every day. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for giving me some of your time. I pray this blesses you. I pray it encourages you and you go away feeling uplifted. And I hope that if you haven't done so already, you'll consider subscribing to the channel. You know I'm here seven days a week talking about the latest in brain sciences, psychology, the law of attraction, spirituality, how to march to the beat of your own drum to make your dreams come true. And you know, folks, it's fair to say that in all of our lives, we all have very many relationships. And they're all wide and varied. We have relationships at work, professional relationships. We have relationships with friends, with family. Perhaps we have a spouse or a partner, somebody that we're romantically involved with. We have a relationship with them. And they all look so different, don't they? To each relationship, we give a different part of ourself. But folks, it's also true that we have non-physical relationships. What do you mean by that, Ben? What I mean, folks, is we all have relationships with money. We all have relationships with ourselves, the way we look, our appearance. We have a relationship with our weight. We have a relationship with our physicality and our features. We have relationships with our emotions. We have relationships with dreams, goals, aspirations. We have relationships that even the people closer to us, they don't even know that we have. We have a relationship with our home, with our social status, our position in life. And today I want to talk to you about how, about how knowing Jim Carrey really changed my life. You know, in all of these relationships we have, we give to them each a part of ourselves. But to be in full relationship with something, to get the, the full value, the full worth of that relationship, it's a two-way street, isn't it? I mean, if you just poured yourself into a relationship time and time again, maybe with a partner, and you constantly poured yourself into it, but you felt no love returned, you felt no peace returned. You felt no gratitude, compassion, empathy, joy. You felt no fun returned in that relationship. Well, it wouldn't be long until you were off looking for a new one, until you were feeling desolate, destitute in that relationship without the hope to go on in it. You see, relationships are a two-way street. It's so important that we invest in relationships. This goes back to a universal principle called the law of compensation or what we often term as sowing and reaping. You know, you cannot yield a harvest where you haven't first sown. You cannot get a return on an investment that you have not made. So relationships are a two-way street. And you know, it was many years ago when I was thinking about my friend Jim and I was thinking about my relationship with him that really led me to a revelation to a point in my life where I recognized a very simple truth about this whole sowing and reaping principle in relationships. I want to share that revelation with you. Now, like I said at the beginning, folks, this is not what you think it is. But hang with me, because if you can get past this, this has the power to change your life like it did mine. It seems simple. 
But believe me when I tell you, the more you ponder this, the more you think about this in the days and weeks to come, the more revelation you will receive and the closer you will be to manifesting that dream that you hold so dear in your heart. You see, I'm actually a fan of Jim's work. I love a good comedy movie, and so some of his comedy movies are some of my favourites. Ace Ventura 1 and 2, I love them. Love them. Dumb and Dumber, hilarious. I love that whimsical, silly comedy. But I also like that there's some depth in a lot of his work. I don't know if you've ever seen Liar Liar. I don't know if you've ever seen The Truman Show. You know, I've had conversations with friends where sometimes we say, boy, I feel like, you ever feel like you're living in The Truman Show? If you haven't seen that movie, go and watch it. It's incredible. And because I love that style of comedy, I really love a lot of his work. And over the years, I've come to know a lot about Jim. So I'm not just a fan of his work, I'm, I'm a fan of his story. You know, there's a man that's been through a lot. There's a man who understands what it is to gain the world and perhaps lose your soul in the process. And then the work it takes to get that back. There's a man who understands the power of sowing and reaping, who understands the power of the universe, who understands the power of the law of attraction. Jim's a guy that really gets energy. You may have seen him talking in some interviews online. Sometimes he seems super wacky. But there's a man who understands energy. But here comes the revelation that came to be about my relationship with Jim. That really changed the way I look at things forever. You see, folks, it's all well and good for me to know him. To know his body of work his character, his personality, what he's been through, his story. But do you know what? Jim Carrey has no idea I exist. Now, just because I know of his work, I know his character, doesn't mean he knows me. Hang with me, folks, because here comes the rub. I wonder how many relationships you have in your life, both physical and non-physical, where the thing you are trying to be in relationship with has no idea you even exist. Bear with me, folks. You see, it's true for all of us. We have relationships with things. We have relationships with a dream, and yet that dream doesn't even know we exist. We want to manifest a lottery win. We want to manifest a life of abundance, fame and fortune. We want to manifest a relationship, maybe even with a specific person. That person may know that you exist, but the relationship that you want to be in with that person, the energy of what you hope to see made manifest, it doesn't know you exist. You see, you cannot reap a harvest where you have not sown. You cannot get a return on an investment that you have not made. So it's not enough to say, I'm friends with Jim Carrey. That's completely a one-way street. If he doesn't know I exist, I can get no return on that investment. In the same way, the things that we all have relationships with, the dreams we have relationships with, it's not enough for you to just know what your dream is. Knowing your dream will not make it manifest. Your dream has to know you. So how do you get a dream to be intimately involved with you? How do you get a dream to know you personally, like you know it? Folks, it's all about your feelings, it's all about your intentions, it's all about your motivators, and where you make your investment. You see, for you to manifest that dream, requires you to invest yourself into that dream. In the field of energy, the investment that is of paramount importance is the investment of emotion. It's the investment of feeling. Now let's say, for example, you seek to manifest a relationship with someone. Perhaps you even know their name. You might know that person. Maybe they're even an ex. You've had difficulty. You've left one another's side and you want to manifest them back. While it's fair to say that you know that person and they know you, the work you need to do to make that manifest 
is done in investing your emotions not into that person but into how you want that relationship to be. We invest our emotion that comes from our heart. We connect it with the vision we have for ourselves in that life which comes from the head. And when we can successfully connect the head vision with the heart's intention, we begin to make strides in manifesting that relationship. That is where you truly invest in that thing. So if you want to be in relationship with someone, sometimes the work you have to do is not on the relationship. Very often the work that needs to be done is on you. You see, the law of divine oneness says that nothing is separate from us. No person, no place, no situation, no answer. It all comes from us. If you've ever heard, everyone is you pushed out, everything is you pushed out, that's where that comes from. All the energy that it takes to manifest a successful relationship with that person is not in you becoming overbearing towards them. It's about how you control the energy surrounding that thing. So there's a couple of keys here, folks, that I want to give to you that will help you make great progress with this. It's very important to listen to your speech about that thing. If you were in relationship with that person, think about how you would be talking about that relationship, how you would be even conversing with yourself about that relationship, and compare that as an index to how you speak about that now. I've no doubt that if you're honest with yourself, you'll find that your current self-talk about that relationship probably involves some, I'm less than enough. It probably involves some doubt, some anxiety, some fear, some stress, some worry that it may never happen. That is what you need to give up to come into union with that person. That is the energy that drives it away. So you need to shift your focus from the person you want to be in relationship with to the person you are already in relationship with. That is where the ground is made up. In the same way, if your dream is to win millions and millions of dollars in the lottery, you can absolutely do that. You need to shift your focus from buying the winning lottery ticket. And every time you buy a ticket and your numbers don't come up, it sends your vibration crashing down through the floor. You need to come away from that and go inwards. You get to know your dream on a personal level by allowing your dream to get to know you. It's time to be vulnerable with our dream. It's time to be real with ourselves, to drop our guard, just like we would in a relationship. You will never get far in a relationship with someone if you can't allow your true self to shine through, if you can't allow yourself to be vulnerable with that person. In the same way, you've got to let your dream get to know you. You've got to spend time with it. You've got to invest in your dream on an emotional level. You cannot reap a harvest where you have not sown. You cannot gain an investment, a return on an investment, where you haven't made an investment. You cannot feel love where you have not given love. You cannot manifest a dream if you don't have a relationship with the dream. So just like it's all well and good for me to know about Jim Carrey's body of work, for me to be a fan of his work, to enjoy his movies, to know a little bit about his life story, if I ever wanted to go further than that, there's no point he doesn't know me. But with dreams, it's a different story. We can allow our dream to come and find a home with us now. We want to be happy. We want to be fulfilled. So we chase happiness and fulfillment hither and fro all over our lives. When really what we need to do is just to stand still. And to give happiness and fulfillment a home with us right now. Right where we're at. We need to give the joy that will come from being in relationship with that person a home with us now. We need to give the thoughts, the feelings, the energy of what it will be like to cash in that lottery ticket a home with us right now. Everything that you could dream of, you can achieve, you can accomplish, you can manifest that. But that dream needs to know you. It's time to spend some time alone with your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. 
alone with your dream. Be vulnerable with your dream. Allow your dream the privilege of getting to know the real you. How do you do that? You be true to yourself. You visualize yourself living in the end result, what you want to manifest, what you hope to accomplish and achieve. You engage with the feelings on an emotional level. That's connecting the head and the heart. The heart is the gateway to manifestation. The scripture says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Not his head, his heart. Get into heart relationship with your dream. It's not enough for you to know what your dream is. You can yell and shout at the universe until you're blue in the face about what your dream is and you know all the intimate details of it, but unless it knows you, unless it finds you as a trustworthy home for itself to be in relationship with, it's not going to come near you. Folks, manifesting that dream has an energy all of its own. You can come into vibrational alignment, harmonious vibrational alignment with that dream just by spending time alone. Being vulnerable, allowing yourself to feel the feelings. Walk the path, folks. If you have to cry, cry. If it makes you happy, be happy. Don't be afraid to feel. Just keep moving forward. Keep walking forward. The dots as you look back on your journey, they will connect themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can do this, if you can be vulnerable with your dream, if you can allow your dream to get to know the real you and give it a home with you right now, then it will walk through the doorway of your reality. It can't not. It's how the universe works. So ladies and gentlemen, I know that there are many, many moving pieces towards achieving that goal of yours, towards making that dream come true. There's metaphysical issues. There's issues of head versus heart. There's visualization, there's techniques, there's the law of attraction, how to apply it, what to do with it. There's the subconscious that can so often get in the road. But folks, this is the next step towards giving that dream a home with you right now. If you want to take another step, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel. A great place to start will be with either one of these two. Go and check them out. I know they're going to bless you. Hit the button here to subscribe to the channel and come back and join me tomorrow because that's all I have time for. I love you so much. Peace.